Hello? Hi, I'm looking for Tammy, please. Uh, this is she. Hi, miss. This is Jack Bauer from the TSA. I got your online complaint about how you're mishandled in the security. Oh, yes. Thank you for calling. Um, well, that was fast. Yes, I was flying with my sister, and we were visiting family on the East Coast. Mm-hmm. And um, I didn't want to go through the body scanner. Why um, didn't you want to go through the... Why didn't you want to go through the full body scanner? Well, because I just, I mean, it's, you know, it's an x-ray. I, I, I fear it might cause cancer. Who knows? We don't know. They're brand new. We've right. Been for 10 years. And did the agent explain then if you didn't go through the body scanner, you would have to get the enhanced pat down? Yes, and that's what I'm complaining about. But, but that's, that's everybody has to get that. Well, but not the way they did it to me. It's, it was felt like, you know, the, the guy got to second base. You have to understand, ma'am, that I have a professional workforce trying to keep air travel safe despite some uncooperative travelers. Uh, I'm not uncooperative. I'm, I'm not accusing you of being uncooperative. I'm just saying everybody gets the same treatment. Uh, so is everybody else complaining? Because I got a serious, like, groping when they patted me down. Yeah, I know. I've heard it all. We handle more packages than the UPS, right? It's nothing personal That's against you. Professional. We give everybody the same treatment. There's 12,000 people we screen every day, and I don't understand what the complaint is. You want them to warm their hands first? Maybe I think you need to check your, check, you know, re, re uh, educate your staff because they grope me, and I don't. That's very unprofessional. Do you really feel there was something sexual about it? Yes. Should Should they have smoked a cigarette afterwards? I cannot believe you're talking to me this way. You're gonna. You're working for the government. It's in the news. You see the security systems in place. You see the terrorism we're fighting. You can't see London. You can't see France unless we see your underpants. Oh my God! And you're supposed to be professional. No, I'm just saying. What do you want us to do? Buy a dinner first? You call me and talk to me this way. I mean, you want us to put on some R. Kelly and buy a dinner? Will that make it better? I. I want to talk to your supervisor. I'll put you through in a second. He's on another call right now, but. This is me this way. You have the option to drive a car, take a train, grab the bus, or start rowing a boat. You don't have to fly. You just want to fly. So guess what? You want to fly? Open your fly. We got to check you out. Make sure that you don't have I any... I cannot believe a person like you is supposed to be talking... You know what? This is absolutely unprofessional and ridiculous. It's not a grope. It's a freedom you pat. Know, I don't even... This is... This is I, I can't believe that this is even happening. You are the most unprofessional person I've ever talked to. I can't believe I live in a nation of whiners. You're not doing enough. You're doing too much. You're not like people are never happy whether we do enough security or not. I am speechless. Not I, really. I hear you. Oh my god. I cannot believe how unprofessional you are. Here's the thing. No, here's the I'd thing. I'd like to hear your ideas on how we keep the next underwear bomber from getting on a plane. Go ahead, I'm listening. I'm a civilian, okay? I don't know how you're going to do it. But it doesn't mean I have to be so No, go ahead. I got a pen. I want to hear your ideas cuz you obviously know security better than we do, so I got a pen. I want to take some really good notes here so we can improve our system. Why don't we have to put our military there instead of ass like you? Why don't you fly naked? Then we won't have to scan you. You did not just say that to me. Oh, I did, and I said this too. Lady, we got college girls coming through here every weekend on their way home. Do you really think my agents want a piece of you, you old leathery handbag? <gasps> not only do I get felt up, but I get treated like from you. You want to talk to my boss? He's free. Your boss. All right, hang on. Here he is. Hi, Tammy. Who is this? It's Cheryl. Tammy, you've just been phone scammed. This is the Mojo in the Morning Show.